Have you ever wondered whether or not all of these cool companies we hear about have stopped being really exciting and are now starting to sound just plain creepy? So Facebook, um, they have their own computer brain interface idea, prototype thing that they're working on. But while Elon Musk highlighted the idea that you can actually write to your brain, which honestly I think is a little, not little, it's a way creepier idea than this. Facebook's big thing is about reading data. Now, I don't know, you guys tell me, what's creepier, what's scarier, what makes you shit yourself more? The idea that somebody can actually implant memories, ideas, thoughts, things into your mind, or the idea that somebody could read your innermost thoughts? I honestly can't decide which one is in my deepest, darkest nightmares, but they're both scary nonetheless. And Facebook did not hesitate to take care of the other side of the coin. Facebook's reality labs, which actually sound more like unreality labs uh, based on the stuff that they're working on, is partnered with scientists at UCSF. I said scientists, not scientists for some reason. A lot of my friends work there. Uh, UCSF is a really popular place for anybody who just graduated from anything and is interested in any career in the medical area or biology. The main thing that they describe in here is the idea that you can communicate or answer questions without having to actually move your mouth. They, the way they would work, or it would work, or the way they would train this is um, you ask somebody a bunch of questions, right? And you can actually detect the brain activity that goes on in their brain before they answer the question. So if I were to ask you, what did you eat today? Now, right after I finish saying, what did you eat today? Right before you actually say what you ate, you've actually thought about what you ate and you're about to say it. And so that forms electrical signals in your brain. In school, in school, we had a project where we use uh, all this data about firing neurons um, and arm movements to actually be able to uh, detect or learn what neurons need to be fired in order to move arm an arm in whichever direction. So come to think of it, I actually see this having a lot of value um, with regards to people who find it difficult to communicate vocally. It could actually have applications beyond that, maybe with lie detection. Um, though I know that lie detection, even with neurons, isn't 100% certain. Uh, people can always fake that. People are very good at imagining things, controlling their emotions heart rate, people are very good at controlling their emotions, thoughts, heart rate, and all these little lying indicators, so I don't think that this would be great for a lie detector. I completely don't agree with lie detectors in general because of those flaws that they have, but let me know what you guys think with regards to what this can be used for in the future. What else do you think this uh, could be useful? Does it actually scare you that Facebook and other people are making these brain-computer interfaces, or do you find it really cool? Um, I'm going to be talking about more of these things in the future, along with other stuff in tech. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Subscribe and hit the bell to keep up to date with what you can do to get into a career with tech, and keep up with what's going on in the tech world in general. See you guys next time.